I put out a community poll asking you who your favorite brawlers were, and 20,000 of you answered before Google shut it down. Apparently, I'm a villain for wanting to know who your favorite brawlers are, but the results I got were more than enough. And let me tell you, the amount of movement in these rankings this year is absolutely crazy. We have a new champion. We have brawlers moving up and down over 40 spots. Plain and simple, y'all shocked me this time. Now, I had you vote for your first, second, and third favorite brawlers. A first place votes gets them five points. Second place got three, and third place votes get one point. Coming in dead last and falling 11 spots, although can you still count at 11 spots if she's still dead last? It's Pam. She actually was next to last last year, and you guys decided, nope, she belongs in dead last. So there she is, poor Pam. The brawler right above her, I thought that he should have been last, but you guys thought that he was slightly better than Pam, and that's Hank. Also following 11 spots is our first legendary that we see, and that's Meg. Even with her rework, y'all still don't like her. And a brawler that you guys have never really liked in these polls, and this year is no exception. Dropping nine spots from last year is Colonel Ruffs. Now the number that you're seeing right there above the brawler, that is actually their first place votes. And just because they got more first place votes doesn't mean they edged out the person above them because as we're about to see, Rosa was able to edge out Ruffs even though she got one less first place votes because she got quite a bit more second place votes. Still though, only 69th place. Just above her in 68th place, we have the Pirate Penny who was just beaten out in 67th place by the Foul Mouth Jackie. Falling 13 spots from last year, coming in 66th place is Frank. Also falling 6 spots right above him is Barley, but that's nothing compared to Gale who winds up in 64th place, falling 24 spots from last year. I don't know what happened to Gale, but he definitely plummeted in the rankings. Then we see another brand new brawler in Doug, coming in in 63rd place. If he didn't have his revive, dude would be like dead bottom i guarantee you and in 62nd place we have the baby making factory eve think of her just think of how many babies she's made in this game already that's definitely more than me and that's a lot now she got 93 first place votes but just beating her out with only 74 first place votes is pearl pearl got 122 second place vote so not a lot of you like love her as your first but you know what she's your side chick in 60th place we have Bo followed closely by Gus in 61st and despite getting her hypercharge and being relatively good right now Jesse falls eight spots all the way down to 58th place now our next two brawlers in 57th place as well as 56th is Grom who was just edged out by the new brawler to this list Willow but the next brawler took the biggest fall this year last year he was number 14 this year, number 55, falling 41 spots was Griff. And after he saw this poll, he wanted a refund. In 54th place, we have Lola falling six spots, who was just edged out by Bonnie, who fell 31 spots. I think she was a relatively new brawler last poll, and she's not anymore. And the rankings show it as she only got 117 first place votes, falling 31 spots to 53rd place. Nita's always a very solid brawler, usually pretty middle of the pack here, slightly below, falling eight spots to number 52. But number 51 is the ultimate troll in Brawl Stars, and 143 of you decided, yes, I do like to troll my teammates, and you voted for Sprout. Good job. Our number 50 brawler fell 11 spots from last year, but it's one that I actually kind of like playing, and that's Mr. P. In 49th place, we see another legendary brawler that loves to hold down one button. That's Amber. For the next three brawlers, we have the Triple Bs. In 48th, we got Bell, 47 Bull, and in number 46 spot, a brawler I don't like to play, but is still a very strong brawler, and that's Byron. In 45th spot, we have the pool bot Rico. And while our 44th spot goes to B, she got significantly less first place votes than Rico, but a ton more second place. But dropping 13 spots from last year, we have the mythic brawler and energy drink lover Max. And our next brawler is a brand new one to the list. And unlike Hank and Doug, he didn't find himself at the bottom. He finds himself right in the middle. And I think this is a good spot for him. And that is RT. But right above him, falling 16 spots is a brawler that I really enjoy playing. But you guys have fell out of love with him a little bit, I guess. And that is Carl. Coming in at number 40 and moving up 16 spots that's nani she's gotten a lot stronger here recently so i can see why you guys are in love with nani right now because she packs damage she's got the big d no not gonna not gonna, i'm not gonna say that 
In 39th spot, we've got M's falling eight spots with Jean just above her, only falling four, but the brawler right above Jean. In the last poll, you guys voted him way higher than I thought that he should have been. Personally, again, this is you guys' votes, but we have Poco who fell 20 spots from last year from 17th down to 37th. And I think that 37th is more of an appropriate spot. I, I don't know if just like all the Poco lovers were coming out last year, but, and despite being an absolute monster and I think really fun to play, we've got Chuck coming in at 36th place. Now, I don't know if you guys just didn't unlock him or you just got really irritated against playing him in ice, but he finds himself in 36th place and in 35th, right above him falling 23 spots is Jay. Janet. She did, however, beat out her little sister considerably. But moving up two spots in 34th place, we have Tara. And I feel like this is a pretty good spot for Tara. She like has fun moments followed by a lot of slower moments. But the next one, I absolutely do not agree with you guys. In 33rd spot, falling six places, you put Gray. He's a brawler that I would have probably put as my third or second favorite brawler. You guys got him way down in 32nd. I think that you guys have robbed him. You've done him dirty, just saying, because right above him is a literal trash can. A trash can beat out Gray. That's Ash in 32nd place. But wait, it gets worse because in 31st place, so a trash can and an arcade machine beat out Gray. 8-bit. And to make matters worse, my second or third favorite brawler, Brock, is all the way down in 30th place, although he did climb three spots from last year, so it's better than falling, I guess. Now our next brawler is one that I've always expected to do better in these lists, and usually assassins are very highly rated, but it's Daryl. Falling from 15th last year to 28th this year. That's a big drop for Daryl, and I don't get it, because I think that Daryl's really fun to play. You guys put Sam above Daryl, and yeah, I get it. You get your super all the time, and you're running around spinning spamming a button, but man, I, I don't get that one. Now in 26th place is also a brawler that I don't really care to play, but she has moved up 15 spots and that's Mandy. Now making it into the top 25 and moving up 10 spots to get there is Sandy. And while Sandy moved up 10 spots, falling 17 spots, down to number 24 is Buster. He was really good last poll and still really good, although not as good as last time. And right above him is Otis, who drops four places as well, but still pretty stable. Now above Otis is a brawler that is really fun to play and I thought was lower ranked than he should have been last year, has moved up seven spots and that's El Primo. When you get a brawler that's this fun, has the ability to yeet someone, jump across the map, drop actual asteroids on people, how could you not rate him high and you guys have done him good, 22nd place for El Primo, feels like a good spot. But the brawler that moved up the most this year by a long shot is one that just got his hypercharge and is actually really, really good right now and that's Lou. Moving up from 54th place all the way to 21st place, he made a huge jump. And another brawler that made another huge jump is also one that the last time we had this poll, she wasn't near as good. After a speed buff and a hypercharge, Shelly moves all the way up from 46th to 20th spot. Well done, Shelly. The next brawler is a new one that when I first started playing her, I didn't really care for her too much, but She's really grown on me and I do like playing her, and that is Maisie. We've had a ton of movement, but one brawler who is exactly the same ranking as he was last year, proven that he's steadily one of the most favorite brawlers in the game. At number 18, we have Dynamite. Double jump, no double jump, it doesn't matter. Dynamite's still fun to play. At number 17 is yet another brand new brawler, the most recent one, and that's Charlie. She's a lot of fun, and I feel like 17 is a pretty good spot for her. But moving up 12 spots is another brawler that I really like to play. Super annoying, I like annoying brawlers, what can I say? And that is Squeak. Now, right above him, moving up six spots, one of the hardest brawlers to play really well in Brawl Stars, but if you can play him good, then you can devastate people. And also he got a hypercharge, so I guess that boosts his ranking as well. We got Colt moving up six spots to number 15. Also moving up six spots into number 14 is another fan favorite, and that is BB. But the big shocker here is the brawler that's right above her, is one of the most hated brawlers in Brawl Stars. Also, apparently, one of the most loved. Moving up 13 spots to claim the 13th spot in this list is Tick. You know, I can't make this stuff up. You guys voted Tick as the 13th most favorited brawler in Brawl Stars. Not moving any spots at all, at number 12th, we have Buzz. But the brawler that missed the top 10, he slid one spot from last year, and that's Edgar. He's one of those brawlers that you either love him or you hate him. I'm, I'm still deciding which one I like. So then we have the top 10 brawlers in Brawl Stars. Moving up one spot, making her way into the top 10. It's like her and Edgar swap spots this year. 
Piper comes in at number 10 with 434 first place votes. Coming in at number 9 was the brawler that was number 1 last time. He has fallen down 8 spots and it's Chester. Still really fun to play. Probably has the best voice lines in the game. It's probably just that he's not as new and he got some nerfs. So he's fallen down some to number 9 but still a really great finish. However, number 8 is a brawler that... I don't really care to play very much. But she did just get a hypercharge, and she is an absolute monster in Heist. And that's Colette. And in seventh place, we have a dead tie. Both Mortis and Stu got the exact same number of votes. You guys clearly love both of them equally, so therefore they share number seven on this list. Congratulations, Mortis and Stu. Last year, this brawler was number nine. This year, he's number six. The soon-to-be legendary brawler, Surge. Now, I know Surge has always been a brawler that a lot of people really like, but I wonder if him becoming a legendary very soon has any effect on him moving up the list. I don't know, but Surge is a lot of fun to play. Now, at number five, we have a brawler that every year is always right up here near the very top, and he was number five last year as well, and that is Leon with 837 first-place votes, way more first-place votes than our number four brawler, another soon-to-be legendary brawler, and new one, we have Cordelia. Delius. The top three brawlers in Brawl Stars. At number three, we have Spike. Spike also got a hypercharge. It seems like that if a brawler was relatively liked in the past and they get a hypercharge, it makes them even more liked. However, if nobody really liked them very much, like Jackie, and they get a hypercharge, eh, it doesn't seem to matter too much. So then we only have two brawlers left. We've got Fang and we've got Crow. They are number one and number two. Neither one of those brawlers has ever come in first place. Who's going to be the number one brawler? All I got to say, it was Fang. Fang's number one. You'll get your chance someday, Crow. But seriously, Fang's really strong. He's really fun. I can see why he's first place. Crow still remains in second place, which is a pretty good spot. I can't complain too much, but I will complain that Google shut me down. But all 20,000 of you who voted before they did that, I appreciate you guys very much. Be sure to subscribe for future videos like this. Thanks again. Peace out.